He can throw a wicked curve, yeah. Yeah, a wicked curve. Yeah, I couldn't hit it. <laughs> and he's always telling me, dude, you could not hit my, my fastball or my curve. And I'm like, you're probably right, but I can't hit, you know, your little sister's curve. You I hit off of him once. I, I smoked a grounder to left center field. That didn't happen. <laughs> I think he was he pitching might, underhand. I think, yeah, and it took about 20 of, them, of these. <laughs> I'm Anna Bowden, and I'm co-writer and director of Sugar, which is playing this year in the dramatic competition. And I'm Ryan Fleck, the co-writer and co-director of Sugar. There are, in the Dominican Republic, these baseball academies where major league teams sign local kids and train them and house them and feed them with the hopes that one day they'll come to the United States and play minor league ball and then go to the majors. I thought, wow, this is really interesting. And we just did a little bit of research online and, and there's quite a bit written on the subject. I think we just got excited about this story of a young guy, a young baseball player, um, who makes a journey from one place to another that's totally different from everything that he's experienced before. Sugar is the story of uh, Sugar who's a Dominican baseball player, a young baseball player who um, makes the journey from a, an academy, a prof professional baseball academy in the Dominican Republic to a small town in Iowa to uh, play minor league ball and the story of his um, adjustment to life there and also, you know, his struggle to become, to make it as a baseball player. Maybe one of the hardest things was figuring out how to protect the camera from the baseball. <laughs> and the most elaborate like plexiglass and nets all around the crew and it was like, what, what are we doing? Are we building like a bomb here? Or? You know, it, there was a lot of trial and error with it. The language too also was particularly difficult for me because I, I knew very little Spanish going into it and, and Anna was pretty good, but you know, I think she learned a lot on this shoot as well. But Definitely cultural and language barriers were tricky at times, but I think we got by it. We got better as we went on. Yeah. I think everybody um, who was working, you know, the, us and also the actors, learned to be very patient with each other and really figure out what each other was trying to say and um, how they were feeling and what was going on there. I'm really super excited to see how uh, our actor, Al Hennis, um, how much fun he has at the festival, and it'll be his first time doing anything like this, and um, his first time seeing the movie and seeing himself on screen. And... His head's about to explode. <laughs> <I think. laughs>